Welcome to Strider Trees. I'm here at the Academy Ranch with Jared Abergina, and he's gonna work with me here and we're gonna demonstrate some pretty sweet little techniques for moving around out on a limb. So hopefully you'll find this valuable. This video is sponsored by Edelrid. Check it out. Hey everybody, Jared Abergina here with Academy Trained. Uh, I'm here to go over and talk about work positioning while limb walking. Uh, as you guys can see, I got the new Edelrid Megawatt in front of me here and so I'll have some fun play around and testing this guy so before we get going here I just want to talk a little bit about weight distribution and moving out on a limb and finding our target and our scope of work and um, our route so as you can see here I have a few obstacles I'm going to go and work myself around I'm going to try to keep my weight on my tying point as you can see here so when we get into our position for work, first thing we want to do is make sure we triangulate here and create a good um, position to be able to do our work. At the same time, make our lanyard actually useful. So as you guys can see here, if I were to take a spill, it's not going to throw me back into the trunk and I got a pretty good triangulation. Now this is one option here for me to reach out and make my cut. Um, what happens with this when I go hip to hip? It locks up my hips for any, um, I guess, I lose some range of motion while doing this. So another option to this is singling out your lanyard. And um, you can see here, I use a prussic and a thimble and I can come back right into that, singling it out, disconnecting my lanyard, which, which I have on here is an akimbo. So I'm gonna come back and single out my lanyard. Now that creates more range of motion for me to move to be able to get to my work. So that's one way of doing it that I like to kind of free me up to get more into my work and less locked up into my harness. All right. I'm gonna go ahead now, put that away. Always keeping your gear tidy. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and move back around you guys can see this little area here on this trunk and we get into trouble moving over branches like this. This really forces us to want to stand up on the limb and when we stand up on the limb, we tend to lose balance. All right, so we want to stay, make sure we stay back, lean back and treat this kind of like a, a third leg or a crutch. So as you guys are going to see, I'm going to go ahead and lean on it, take my slack. I'm very comfortable here. The alternative is standing up where I lose balance and have to hold on to my rope and have that slack with the potential to fall. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lean on it, slide over, take my slack. Come up, take my slack. Rope management is big. All right, so we we'll wanna make sure we keep our rope tidy and always clear of any obstacles. This video is brought to you by Edelrid. Uh, they're a German company that distributes here in North America and I wanted to show you guys a couple of pieces of gear that I've been using for years that is the best in class. It's some of my favorite stuff uh, and so I wanted to share with you. Here we've got the Tree Rex saddle. This is my everyday climbing saddle. It's really lightweight, fully featured. Uh, it's got a spot for the transporter there. The gear loops are awesome. It's more breathable than anything else I've ever used and totally customizable. It's absolutely fantastic. They've also got these carabiners, which are among my favorite. They're triple lockers, and they've got this stainless steel insert. So it's a lightweight aluminum carabiner with the stainless steel insert for long lasting durability. They make this awesome one that is a little more eco-friendly because it doesn't have to go through the treatment process. And it even has this little catch right here to keep your eye from sliding around, keep it oriented properly. And last but certainly not least are the Talon tree climbers. Obviously these are climbing gaffs, spikes, and they're the most comfortable ones on the market. They've got this big breathable thick cuff that is nice and ergonomically shaped for maximum uh, comfort. Very adjustable, will fit any boot you put in it, and all of the Velcro and all the straps can be replaced separately. So it's a great piece of kit. They make fantastic gear. If you want to support me, support the channel, check them out in the link in the description. Now back to the action. All right, as I move over here, I talk a little bit about a redirect here. So what we want to do is reduce the swing potential when working on these limbs. Now, for me to move out here, if I were to take a spill, that's about a 20 foot fall. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a redirect, and which I got here is a Aramid sling that Edelred makes, and it's pretty awesome. It's my favorite because it's round and has a lot of different applications. All right, so right here, I'm going to go ahead, create my redirect. Now I just took that swing potential away about 15 feet or so. Now I can move out another five feet. If I were to fall, um, I'm not gonna come crashing back into the tree. All right, so I'll go ahead and come out here. All right, now I'm in a position here. I have to make some cuts um, out here on this stem. What that typically happens in this moment here is we put our position where we're comfortable and if we don't apply it in the right position it's of no no use okay so if I go ahead and place it down below here that really doesn't help me out if I were to take a, a spill or a fall I'm still going to fall down into uh, a pretty bad position to get out of so um, we really want to work on good positioning as you can see here I can come over here I can double wrap this create a nice choked anchor once again i'm going to single it out all right once again like i said before we're going to triangulate now i'm in a really good work position i got a lot of good movement be able to get to my work and now when i make my cut i can take my saw and go ahead pass it beneath my back and i can come out here in a really good position to make my cut all right so let me go ahead and move myself in now let's talk a little bit about coming back in one of the biggest things that we encounter climbing SRS is not having mechanical advantage to be able to gain our, get ourselves back in from the limb walk. Uh, we're basically pulling a one-to-one, -one, our entire body weight, trying to pull ourselves up and taking the slack. So in this scenario, you have a couple options. Um, you can take a hand ascender, place it above here. For me, I always have my prusik on my lanyard, and this guy is very handy. It takes only a few minutes, if that, to go ahead and slap it on, maybe, maybe a minute. So to put that on, grab my extra carabiner that I keep right here and grab my tail, pop it back in. All right, so now I just created my mechanical advantage to get myself back in. Back to my redirect that I can take off. Go ahead, once again, keep things nice and tidy. Always put your gear away. All right, now I can work this nice and easy with mechanical advantage, always keeping my line taut so I don't have that potential of falling or swinging back to the trunk. All right, takes a little bit extra time to set this up. Ultimately, if you have a really tough limb walk come back in, uh, something as small as this that you have multiple uses, Put it right back on your lanyard. It goes a long way. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.